Well, hello, all of you wonderful people on YouTube. My name is Preston, and welcome to Stickbait! Now, today I have a very special video for you guys, because this story of mine, it's very personal. It is something I've barely discussed with anybody. It's the time in middle school when a bunch of guys and I used to piss all over the cafeteria bathroom for fun. So, um, back in the day, my elementary school was split up into two sections. We had the lower school and the upper school. The lower school consisted of pre-K through fourth grade, and the upper school consisted of fifth grade through seventh. I was in sixth grade at the time the story happened, so that would be around, like, roughly 2015. Much like the lower school, the upper school followed a specific schedule when it came to lunch and recess. While the lower school, I want to say at around, like, noon, were eating their lunch, the upper school played at recess. Then when the lower school finished eating, I, I think they might have went to recess or back to class. I honestly do not remember, but the upper school went from recess into the cafeteria. We ate our lunch, lined up afterwards, and then went back to class. Not without a bathroom break, of course. Don't ask me what led us to start doing what we started doing, because I don't even know myself, but on one specific day, no different from any other, a bunch of guys and I decided to go into the bathroom for a little potty break before class, and we ended up creating this little, this little game. Basically, one guy was chosen, spun around, and then put in front of the urinal. Then, when he was ready to start peeing, we would turn out the lights, and he would essentially try to keep his aim in the dark and see how much pee he could make into the toilet and how much pee would end up on the floor. And this game was something we like to refer to as the mist tests. Oh man, the good old mist tests, dude. This amused us. This harmless activity amused us. It was weird, no doubt, but harmless. That was until the next day or so, this, this ritual of ours, it began to evolve. Scratch that. I'd say it was more of a mutation than evolution because shit got fucked up so fast, man. I don't know what snapped in our minds, but within like the next day or so, we went from seeing how much pee we could make into the toilet to seeing how much we could piss all over the bathroom. Like within the next day that was happening. Like, I don't know. Instead of guys being put directly in front of the urinal, they would start on the opposite side of the bathroom, and then when the lights were turned out, we were greeted with nothing but the haunting sounds of liquid hitting the floor and laughing and giggling. And he would try to make his way all the way to the urinal before his bladder was empty, which was like pretty much never. Piss would just be everywhere in the end. It was insane. Every single day for like the next week, the walls were drenched in piss. The floors were drenched in piss. The stalls were drenched in piss. And we and it, we were fine with it, you know? Nonetheless, though, it was really fun. And, you know, things just kind of got really repetitive. We'd go into the bathroom after lunch, turn off the lights, piss everywhere, giggle a bit, and then leave. It was, like I said, really repetitive. And although it was really repetitive, I recall two instances that stood out among all the other memories I have. One of those memories being the time I purposely tried to pee all over my friends and partially succeeded, and the second being the time I turned on the lights while my friend, my best friend at the time, was mid-piss session. It was amazing. Okay, okay, I was a little shit when I was younger, all right? I, for some reason, my puny little rabbit-sized brain thought that it would be comical for me to try to piss all over my friends when the lights were out. You know, and I partially succeeded in that too. I'm gonna get my chair out of the way for a second. I'm gonna like demonstrate to y'all to y'all what I did. Okay, so let's just say the urinal is right here, right? You know, I'm like, okay, I'm getting into my position. All right, guys. You know, I I whip out my little willy, of course, and I'm like, all right, guys, turn out the lights. I'm ready. And of course, I'm a I'm gonna move this a little bit. You know, let me get my chair out of the way. Uh, yeah, so the bathroom was like a cube, you know, I don't know why the bathrooms are like a cube in elementary school, but they are. So all of my friends are like, they're all huddled in the corner, you know, maybe not all like, I don't know, but they were all in the corner, right, to try to avoid the splashes. And me being at the urinal, 
everyone thought it was going to be a normal piss session. I'm like, all right, guys, turn out the lights. I'm ready. Once the lights were out, you know, I ran over to them. I ran over to them to try to pee all over them. And I didn't really succeed as well. You know, I said I partially succeeded, which I did. I managed to get pee on the arm of one of my friends. That's about it, though. And I'm surprised as well, because I was like... I was, like, spraying around like I was hosing a fucking garden, dude. Like, it was insane I didn't hit anybody. I was trying to as well. Like I said, I was a little shit. Thankfully, though, I only got the dude's arm because, God forbid, I would have drenched them all in piss. That would have been horrible, dude. I, I don't know. Next up was the time I turned the lights on while my friend, my best friend, my buddy Ochamo pal was mid pee session. And that was like the most blasphemous thing you could do at the time. You know, it was like, it was like a ritual every single time. Take your position, turn the lights out, don't turn it back on until you're done peeing, right? And I didn't listen, you know? Everything was getting so repetitive. I was bored, I wanted to see more. You know, that, that sounds horrible, mind you, but I, I just wanted to see what it looked like for somebody just to just be pissing all over the bathroom. I wanted to see what that looked like, you know? Because the only thing we had was audio, you know? We we heard liquid hitting the floor, and we just, we'd hear guys going, <laughs> you know, that's all we had. And I wanted to see what it looked like. So when he took his position in front of the urinal, and like a few seconds after we heard the liquid hitting the floor, I flipped on the lights, and dude, he, I gotta pull the chair out for this shit again, dude. He was doing this. He was like, and he, like, I saw him drenching the stall in piss. And I, he, he was, he was literally shooting urine over it. It looked like it was at the pressure of a fire hose, dude. Like, I just see piss going, whoosh, whoosh, spilling everywhere. And here's the funny part. Someone was in the stall while he was doing it. Oh, man, I'm a level with you for a second. Can you see me? I don't know. I'm going to sit right here. I, I think it was probably one of our friends that was in the stall, but he... I don't know how powerful my friend's piss was, but the dude in the stall, I could see his legs. He was pushed up against the door, right? And like he was like holding that thing shut with nothing but body weight and prayer. Dude, he looked so scared. It was the most... It was the most majestic thing I think my 12-year-old self had ever seen in his entire life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to see something amazing when I turned on those lights, and I was not disappointed because that is something that has stuck with me. Like, I'm, I'm 20 now. It is stuck with me all of these years. You know, sometimes it just pops into my head. I'm like, oh, yeah. I saw my best friend drench a bathroom stall in piss. It was amazing. Unfortunately, though, or should I say fortunately for the janitor's sake, the missed tests the following week came to an untimely close. All of us kind of just came to a mutual agreement that we should kind of stop doing it, you know, and the following week, we either just acted normal in the bathroom or we just didn't go in there in general. And I'll tell you why we stopped doing the missed tests. The smell. It was horrible. It was so pungent. I want to say around Tuesday of the following week, because Tuesday was when I had gym class. My class had gym class. And the cafeteria is right here. The gym is right here. And there's this little middle section where they have a girl's bathroom over here, a guy's bathroom over there. And the guy's bathroom was obviously the one we were pissing all over. And so I told my gym teacher, I want to go to the bathroom. And so she's like, all right, go to the bathroom. And... You know, I didn't, I don't think I even had to go. I think I just wanted to see how the bathroom was holding up because the weekend had gone by and so did Monday and none of us went into the bathroom and I was like, I was curious. So I went in there and the first thing I was greeted with was just, just the, the fucking, the, the aroma of just pee and it, it was disgusting. I was like, huh. And I, I remember I, I leaned over to the floor and I took a whiff and it, it was pee, dude. It was so bad. And then after that, it, it like, and just think too, the, the pee filled bathroom, like the piss covered bathroom 
had the entire weekend to just sit and marinate, you know, in the dark, in the heat. It was just, I don't even want to think about it. It, it was so disgusting. And like I said, ever since then, once all the other guys got a whiff of that shit, we were like, no, nah, no, we can't do this anymore. Like that was even too much for us. I mean, come on. But overall, you know, this was one of those, I mean, even though it was weird, this was one of those activities that just, it really added spice to my middle school memory. You know what I mean? Like no one knows that I did this. Nobody knows that I did this. I think I've only told like five people in my entire life that like did not go to school with me about this incident and all of the reactions were the same. Nonetheless, it, it added it added a bit of memory to my middle school. You know, there's a lot of things that happens where I'm like, huh, whatever happened that year? I don't remember a single thing from that year, but this, this is one of those things that has stuck with me and I'm happy that it did too, because I don't know, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. You never know how much fun it is to just piss all over a bathroom until you try it out. Now, I am not condoning this, okay? I'm not saying that people should go out there and start peeing all over the bathroom. I mean, people in gas station bathrooms kind of do it already, you know, but that has nothing to do with me. So that's not on me, but every other bathroom, don't, don't pee all over it. You can make a bunch of other memories. Maybe you can start like smearing shit every bud. There you go, folks. That is the time in which me and my friends decided to pee all over our middle school bathroom. I hope you all enjoyed, and remember, stay weird, stay standified. I'll see you in the next video.